hello and welcome back to my another tutorial in this tutorial i am going to share with you how to set up hp laser date p1102 printer with your computer so in this video i'm going to share the by step by step how you can do that so let's take a look how to do that <laughs> In order to do that, first of all, make sure that you have properly unboxed your printer if you buy this new printer. Simply unbox all the, remove every uh, things like there will be orange color tape. So I had already removed all these things and I made ready uh, for you. So you also can do and make sure that you have removed that uh, printer cartridge. Uh, there is a, sometime there is a, like you, you will see there will be uh, something like uh, some orange color tape so simply remove the cartridge and from that cartridge you can uh, remove that uh, toner uh, this is the first step for this printer so first I have done everything and I had add some paper and now I will install this printer with my laptop but one thing more you will notice that uh, this is the laptop which laptop there is no DVD drive maybe you want the same issue or you will also have DVD drive and you, you lose the setup cd so you can use without setup cd you can directly download this driver from online so i will also share with you that and later on i will share with you how you can install first of all you will see in your printer back side there is a power slot so simply connect your uh, printer power slot like this which will you will get inside the box or somewhere uh, if you have once you can just simply put like this also you will see there is a, another slot which is your uh, USB slot. So you will get this P, uh, PC uh, printer connector. You will get inside the box. So this is the printer connector. So I am going to add this printer connector here. You can see how I add it. And then another slot. You will see there is another slot for this uh, printer USB cable. You will add in your uh, laptop or desktop anywhere. Just like this. And it's ready to go can see I had added uh, this uh, printer connector with my laptop. Now I will download the software and then later on I'm going to install this printer in my computer. Also make sure that you have turned on your printer after you connected with the electricity. So I have turned on my printer and you will notice there will be sound out and also the printer is to just will appear when it is orange, something like yellow light that means it's ready, so ready for uh, use. So I'm just waiting for this uh, going this arrow. You can see that all it goes and here appear yellow color. Now what I will do, I will open my favorite browser from my computer and then I'm going to type this printer model. So I know this printer model is HP P1102 and then I'm going to type here driver. So when I will click here HP P1002 driver, it will give me the direct uh, link to HP printer you can see this is the HP uh, support so I'm going to right click over there and I'm going to click open link in new tab I will put this uh, driver link in my video description so later on you can directly jump to this driver uh, this uh, website if you have no if you didn't have the setup file you can directly download from here and you can easily install so it so will take some time for download process you can see I'm going to click here save and it's downloading it will take some time you can see this uh, mb size is 157 mb so i wait uh, for this download process and after that i'm going to share with you how you can install this sort of software and later on we can print from our computer we can see already this set of files is downloaded in our computer so now i am going to click here run and let me see what is coming we'll see uh, what the next step so we will minimize our skin and we will see there is the ex extracting that set of file now here it is giving an option to hp laser jet pro 1102 printer series or hp laser pro p1560 so my one is p1102 so i'm going to choose definitely this one i'm going to choose here usb install and then i'm going to click here you can see if you click here Bing setup it will give you option that before uh, you uh, download or uh, before you installing this software you make sure that you printer what process extender if you click here play 
we'll see uh, what the step we have to do if you click next this is what the unboxing process so make sure that you had done all this process and later on you are ready for install so i'm going to click here install printer software and it will give me option and uh, there is here is option you have to click here next and then you again you have to choose this uh, spp1100 series so i'm going to click here next and then i will see this printer is installing you can see here this printer driver is installing in my computer so it will take some time it's depend on your computer speed and it will going to be installing your computer so we will wait for this until finish this 100 percent process and later on i'm going to uh, test any page print out and let me i will see is it printing properly is it installed successfully or not we can see here is a pair make sure this device is connected with the printer like this picture so for what i show you actually this is same thing appearing here so we'll see here you can choose a register product if you want if you want to print test space so if you if you're going to click here like uh, test space uh, and then if i'm going to click here next this is going to take me the uh, register process and also they're going to print a uh, test space so i'm i'm just ignoring the registration if you want you can do so and then you can see here the link of original software is done if i'm going to click here finish and if I click on OK, we will see uh, this printer already test print pieces. So here also it's giving you to uh, report now. If you want to report safe site, so you can report now. If you want to later, you can say no. So this is how you can easily set up HP LaserJet Pro P1102 printer with your computer. And also if you want to uh, make it default, if you have other printer, you can do so. Just go on here control panel and then click here hardware and sound and then click here device and printer and you will see all the printer listed if it is not default make sure make that printer default so if you want to make the default simply right click over there and then click here set as printer default and later on if you're going to print anything it's going to automatically choose the default printer and it's going to print out for you so that's for now thanks for watching my video see you next one